Hi guys, welcome to Bath Biz and Foam. My name is Robin French Smith. Today is Friday, if you're watching this on Friday. And this is a not face-to-face -face Friday. If you're watching this, then that means I'm probably on Christmas vacation with my kids. Uh, probably at the beach because I live in Texas and it's still like 80 degrees outside. So we're going to the beach probably. But hey, I still wanted to post a video for today. And in fact, it's going to be the same as if it was alive because I'm just going to keep whatever disasters happen. We're just going to keep doing them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's basically like it's alive. I don't, I don't know. It's alive. Um, so let me put my fragrance oil in. So this is bath bomb mix. This is the humid weather bath bomb recipe. It's a half batch of it. And I'm going to put some fragrance in here. And then I'm going to show you the molds I'm planning on using today. I don't know if it'll work the way I want it to, but, um, try. So, let me put my, let me get this going, get that fragrance oil mixed in there. So the molds I'm planning on using today are, I'm, I'm planning on using the bombshell mold, the present bombshell mold from Inedible Soaps. Okay, I used it before. It's a, it's a trickier mold, okay? But you if you can't we can do it. But it's a little bit trickier. Um, if this doesn't work out, like if I just am not in my game today, I have a backup, and uh, the backup mold we would use would be this bow mold from Superman Soaps. So the plan is we're gonna make red bath bombs. So even though it's like Christmas time and it looks like a Christmas present. It could actually be used for Valentine's Day because, let's face it, most of you guys, shut up, most of you guys have already moved past Christmas and you're working on your Valentine's Day crafts, which totally understand that, but it's almost Christmas. I didn't want to post the Valentine's thing. I wanted it to be Christmas themed. So we're going to try these presents. Um, okay, <laughs> let me mix my citric acid in and we're going to see. So the red that we're going to use today is going to be from the red color study. Um, so I think we're going to do two parts of red 40 to one part of red 27. Give it a little bit less of a pink tone and more of like a deeper red color to it. Maybe hopefully we'll see. Okay. And now my citric acid. I usually have it already pre-measured and poured and stuff, but I didn't do that. Okay. So, sorry, I'm not perfect. Um, I hope that you guys like my sweater. I love the Grinch. He's my favorite Christmas character. Um, even my house, like the front of our house is decorated with, not specifically Grinch, but like lime green and our my christmas wreath on my front door is the grinch though so we did do that okay so here's my citric acid and i'm gonna start letting that mix in and then i'm gonna add my colors to it as well and let me find now look i told myself to give you guys the full face-to-face -face friday experiment even though i have the ability to edit any bad things that happen out i'm not going to i'm gonna leave so if something goes wrong i'm gonna leave it we're just we're gonna do it together we're gonna see okay so this is my red 40 and I'm going to do two full teaspoons. That's a lot of red 40. But honestly, you can't, I mean, it's really hard to get red 40 to stain. 
it will. I mean, it can. Anything can stain. But it's like, if you're using polysorbate 80, you qualify that. But, like, other than that, it's pretty, you, it's definitely not as naughty as this baby. So she stain a lot. She likes, she's like, I've touched you, now you're mine. <laughs> she stains, like, everything she touches. Pretty much. So I did a two to one. Two parts. To one, two teaspoons of red 40, one teaspoon of red 27. Because the color studies are in ratios, what I could do is, um, if I want this to be a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, um, I can just keep adding in proportionate sizes. So, you know, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, I think this is a good red though. I'm happy with it. I'm just saying like, if I wasn't happy with it, because different suppliers are gonna have different dye loads. So, you know, may not always turn out exactly the same. Yours may not turn out exactly the same as mine, even when you use the exact same amount. So you could just keep adding it in, if that was your goal. There is like a saturation point though. So like there's a point where it's like, it's like not fun. I'm not going to be mixed in. I'm not going to be mixed in anymore. And it kind of, that's it. It's <laughs> like, it's not going to do it. Okay, so let's move. Let's move Mixie out of the way. Goodbye, girl. We're done with you. Hold on. Let's be reasonable about this, okay? No, I won't. Okay. Um, all right, and then what else did I need? Oh, binder. Even though this is the high humidity recipe, and if you've made bath bombs before, and you're like, just bought this recipe, you might be tempted to not add binder because you're like, it's pretty wet and it's holding together. Wrong. You need binder. You need binder. So add binder. For sure, add binder. So I'm going to add... I use water as my binder and I'm gonna add six sprays of water. So I have come to discover that each of my sprays, I wanna say each one is one gram, but possibly two grams. Why do I think two? That sounds like a lot. I think it's one gram. That sounds right. So, you know, get yourself a spray bottle, get used to it, and then you'll know how many sprays you need from it. When I was in Florida with Amanda, we had like a totally different spray bottle. And it was like, it threw me so hardcore because I wasn't, hardcore, because I wasn't used to it. So, okay. This is the Inedible Soaps Present Indent Mold. So we're going to fill the square base First, I want the mix to be light and loose. Um, kind of letting it, gonna make sure it's filled all the way. Do a little bit of overflow. Then I, for engine molds, I like to stick my finger, finger in there. <sighs> Lord help me. <laughs> Don't report me to Facebook, okay? I just stick my finger in there and make a little bit of a hole and that just makes it easier for me to get the press piece in. So I'm going to do that. <sighs> okay. Now that the press piece is in, I'm going to show you. So for indent mold, do you want to kind of like rock? the caspa <laughs> you want to kind of like rock the press piece in there to make sure that you're pressing it all the way around and i'm going to give it like a little bit of a hand press too i'm just going to give like a little press on every side because i want to make sure i'm pressing that piece down evenly okay so then i pull off the top piece Somebody in one of my videos recently commented to not go on it, and I'm like, sorry, my bad. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna flip it and pull it straight up. I did damage it. Nope. Oh, okay, yep, I did. 
just a little bit, but it's not bad. That's where, yeah, I kind of knocked off the side of it a little bit. It's not too bad though. Not too bad. We're going to keep it because you never know. Now we're going to try the top. <laughs> okay. So I'm one same, same theory. I just want to like sprinkle it. I like to overfill it quite a lot. And then for this one, there's like a little, there's a little poker <laughs> spool. I don't know what that is and it's sticking up. Oh my God. And uh, then I'm going to, so I like kind of clear away the bathroom dust from that. And then same concept. I'm going to uh, rock it a little bit back and forth. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 um, and then kind of give it a little pressy press. Flip that up. See? And then flip it over. Ooh, okay. Now it's time for the bow. And let me tell you, if you've watched me do bombshell molds before, I think I've talked about the bows being like, not the easiest part, okay? They're just, I'm not gonna lie. The bows, the stoppers, the stop, the stop. So this is a stopper. So let me show you what we're, we got our, what we're working with. Okay, so this is the stopper. It's got like a little hole and that's gonna go in the top of the present. Go in the top of the present. So I'm gonna fill this up and then what I do is I just gently press one time. That's it, just gently press. Like I don't pack it in there really heavy because then you can't get it out and then you break it when the process of getting it out, okay? Then I'm gonna press this little baby Okay, now here's the thing too. Always make extra, always make extra stoppers. Like make a ton extra, wait, make way more stoppers than you think you're gonna need. Okay, you can, whatever amount that you think that you're gonna need. Yeah, make make more than that ah! okay because the stoppers for like literally every bombshell i've ever done the stoppers are the difficult part they're the difficult ones okay so i'm gonna fill it i'm just gonna poke it maybe i poked it too hard it's okay though i'm just going did i hand squeeze it or press it on the table last time i think that i just hand squeezed it but if i press it on the table i'm sorry I generally say don't press like tiny ones on the table, like just hand squeeze like that. <laughs> it's so cute. Please work with me. Don't be like that. Okay. So this time I'm gonna do it like this. That way there's no stress on it as I'm lifting it up. And then, Do my little stopper. Okay, so now you just have to do that like 900 more times and you're good. Okay, so we're gonna see when it comes down to it whether or not I actually post this entire process because I feel like, like whenever I edit videos, okay, hear me out. Whenever I edit videos for like YouTube, um, I feel like after you watch me do it like once or twice, do you really want to like keep watching me do it like over and over and over? Like, is that what you actually want? Because I feel like, you know, once you watch me do it once or twice, it's good, right? But then there's also like the thing, like sometimes people message me and they'll be like, hey, you said this thing today. And it's like something I just casually said in passing. And they'll be like, it's, I was wondering how to fix this problem. And now I know because you said that thing. So I'm like, I bet that can happen too when I'm like molding and unmolding things. So that one came out good. No chippity chips on his bottom. Um, 
I kind of wonder if that might happen sometimes when I'm molding too. Like maybe you guys just see me do something and you're like, oh, that's, I've been doing it completely differently and maybe that's the solution. I don't know. That feels like so, I have a really hard time. I've had a couple situations recently. Oh, this is upside down. No, it's right. I've had a couple situations recently where like I needed to talk about myself. Like I had to update my bio which I didn't update it on our website, but I had to update my bio for something else. And I was like, man, I'm really like struggling with like what to say here. And I wanted to, I was, if I, I just wish I could have gotten somebody else to write it. Cause I was like, I don't know. I don't want to sit there and be like, so Robin, that's me. She's like really good at this stuff. <laughs> like, trust me, she's an influencer. <laughs> right? Because it just feels, I just don't, I don't know. That's like not my personality, so. Is that a humble brag? Probably, because this whole video I'm talking about me, so whatever. Okay. So guys, what do you think? Sorry, I was like really fast gear switching. What do you think about this mold? Think you can get it maybe good for Valentine's Day? I won't tell you guys what I want to put in it for Valentine's Day, but it's an idea I've had for a while. It might or might not include everybody's favorite song about a gift in a box. A gift. I said a gift in a box. Get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah, that one. That. That's what I might fill it up with. Just to be like, ha, ha for Valentine's Day because I love jokes like that. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, just look up Google YouTube, Google YouTube search, uh, Justin Timberlake's gift in a box. Gift in a box. It'll clear it up for you real quick. I'm just saying like, I feel like it's very relevant and I should go there. Somebody's got to, I'm sure lots of y'all do right? Okay. So here's the thing about, let me tell you one thing I really do like about bombshell molds is if the top little edge where the mold bottom and top like touch each other, it's a terrible way. This edge, right? If after you mold it, if that edge is a little bit crumbly, when you um, unmold it, you're good. It's fine. Um, because nobody's going to see it. Nobody's going to know. How will they know? Nobody's going to know. Um, I glue mine together with just a really simple, um, cocoa butter and baking soda drizzle. So it's, I do like a one-to-one -one cocoa butter and baking soda. Um, if you're doing, if you're doing more drizzle, like if more of the area is being drizzled, um, then you might want to look up like one of our drizzle recipes, drizzle PDF, drizzle ebook. What up? Oh my God. What am I saying? You might want to look that up because, um, you know, if it doesn't have polysorbate 80 in it and you're using a ton of drizzle, then you don't want to do that because it's going to leave the tub really greasy. Um, otherwise for this tiny little amount though, I'll just, uh, glue it together with a simple cocoa butter drizzle. And then, um, I know that there are some people that just like leave them, leave the two pieces separate. So you don't have to glue them together. Um, what else? Things you can fill it with other than a gift in a box. Um, you could fill it with salts. Um, other bath bomb powder, like from filled bath bomb batches, you know, bath bomb dust, whatever you want to call it, fit fairy dust. Um, so you can fill it with that. You can fill it with those are the two things I can think of. I, I guess you could fill it with bubble bar, but it's not, I don't think it's going to work really that well. I think you really want to fill it with, I like to fill it most with 
stack bomb dust. Um, I think that's like the best bang for your buck. But I know people like to do salts and stuff like that too. The first ones I did were salts. And because I live in Houston and it's so humid, all the salts like hardened <laughs> inside of it. And you couldn't get them out. And so it was like, I don't want to have to tell my people like stick a chopstick in there and stir it around. Like, I don't know. I just, so I just stick with bath bomb dust now when I make mine. Okay. Um, I don't think after I'm like, say, make so many bows. Oh my God. Make so many bows. After I said that I have not made so many bows. I've only made one bow, which is not what I said to do. So I don't know what to tell you about that. I might take old Chippy over there, the first one that I chipped on the bottom, and uh, he might be our sacrificial lamb, and I might turn him into bows. Talk about silence of the lambs, right? Um, because I do want them to have bows. Um, and also, it's like if you're going to have extras of things so you want extras of the bows but you also want extras of the lids i mean actually here's the deal you want extras of everything okay so like if you are filling these for an order and the customer ordered six of them then you need to make eight okay because some of some of you will break Okay, I'm just I'm talking to these guys. Some of you are going to break. Maybe not. Because I pretend that I'm a professional. And I'm pretty good with handling them. But I'm not going to lie. I've knocked over plenty of bath bomb pans. So it'll happen. <laughs> the moral of the story is it will happen. And <laughs> so you just, just keep that in mind, you know. If you want to have extras. And if the bottom of these stoppers chip a little bit too, it's not that big a deal. Nobody's going to see that part for the most part. I think. Okay, we're almost done. Let's see if we can finish this out without having to sacrifice one guy. I might, no, I might be able to, I might be able to do it. Who knows? How many do we have? Five? Kind of a close call. I could always make. Here's the deal. I could always. I'm gonna play. I'm. I'm gonna paint the stoppers anyway. So I could always make the stoppers from another batch if I had to, which means you also could do this thing. Um, I could make them from another batch, and then, um, paint them, and it would be fine. Even if it's a different fragrance, honestly, it's so small. I think I just, okay. No, don't do it. I just don't want to do it unless I have to. Do it. Do I edit this kind of out? No. Okay, so, but I know, okay, so, um, I know this isn't live. Apologize. Next Friday is Christmas Eve. And I probably, maybe we'll do a live still. Because. We don't do a lot of stuff like on Christmas Eve. We're not like those people. Um, but I'm well aware that like a lot of people do. So like that's cool. Don't feel obligated, you know, to watch. And then if you don't celebrate Christmas, like, hello, you're going to be here with me. So I will probably do a live then. But like, I'm sorry. We're trying to get to the beach. Okay, so, so my mix is really dry. I think I'm going to add <laughs> just a dollop. Just a little tiny bit of oil to help me, help me through the long and winding road. Oh my god. 
And then if it doesn't work, then screw it. I'll do the stoppers from another batch. And it'll be fine. But I mean, at least you got the main, you got the idea, right? We're, we're there. We have the idea. We know what's happening. You have a working knowledge of how to use this mold now. Should you so choose to do so. But um, I will leave links to the human bath bomb recipe in case you're interested in that. Um, I will leave links to where you can get this mold. I will leave links to the red color study in case you don't know. In case you don't know. Ooh, that looks good. She came out nice and crisp. See, sometimes, especially if you're doing like small molds, listen to me, my friends. More oil, not more binder, okay? More binder will get you in trouble, especially when you get down to such small amounts. More binder will get you into some kind of trouble, okay? I still don't think we're going to be able to get five out of this, but we can get four, okay? And that's good enough for me. We'll call that still a success. And then I'll make my other one out of another batch, and that'll be fine. See, look at that, more oil, saves the day. So stoppers, hand press, more oil, be gentle. Um, sacrifice a virgin under the full moon or a perfect, one perfect bath bomb. Sacrifice one perfect bath bomb um, under the full moon. You have to do some things sometimes to pacify the bath bomb gods, okay? I'm not proud of the things. I'm also not that ashamed of them. So keep that in mind. Let's see, we have enough. No, it's just short. <sighs> okay, it's fine. <sighs> That's pretty much it for today, guys. Sorry I wasn't live. I uh, hope you still enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you next week on the next Friday, or you can go. Or you can come to the Baptism Foam business page and watch me on Monday. Make with me Monday, which probably will be live. So there you go. Bye. Thanks for watching. Happy making. Love you.